breaking, 13 dead, 65 wounded over a weekend, now Trump has addressed the nation. The last 36 hours have been among the bloodiest on record, leaving 13 dead and an additional 65 victims were wounded in the brutal ambush. As people in this area are trying to come to grips with the sudden attack, President Donald Trump wasted no time in addressing it, making a sudden announcement about the bloodbath that has never been said before. While most people were looking forward to the weekend, Chicago thugs were preparing for a bloodbath knowing that nobody would stop them at their killing game that began on Sunday, October 8 and continued through Saturday, October 14. Officials in Chicago have overlooked the problems in their city for too long and it's been at the cost of countless lives. As Barack Obama's former hometown, he didn't seem to want to address it either and the rising murder rate is also a big part of his legacy having made excuses for criminals and empowered Black Lives Matter. Now that there is a real leader in charge, President Donald Trump isn't letting murderous thugs get away with this killing spree at a rate of one fatality every hour and 45 minutes in the Windy City, according to stats provided by HeyJackass.com. The respect for human life is completely absent in the tight gun-controlled city on both ends of the spectrum. Thugs pick their victims at random without concern for age, as was seen this weekend with the unprecedented violence. This lack of respect extends to local government which has done nothing to stop in and remove citizens' right to defend themselves against it. Seven people were shot on the south and west sides between Thursday morning and early Friday, Chicago police said, according to the Chicago Tribune. A 25-year-old man was shot twice in the side in the Little Village neighborhood on the west side just before 1.55 a.m. Friday, police said. Two other victims, one 34 and the other 40, were reportedly shot at random in the knee and buttocks while attempting to make their way to wherever they were headed in this war zone. Thirteen victims weren't so lucky this week, as they added to the total death toll of 30 homicides to date in October alone for the Windy City. Chicago has become more of a war zone than a place to call home, where it's not even safe to go outside without risking your life. Now Trump has come out announcing that Chicago cops need to be able to do their job, which would stop this crime spree immediately. President Donald Trump's claim that a mystery police officer has a quick fix for Chicago's violent crime problems continued to evolve Wednesday night, as the president claimed the unnamed cop told him if they let us do our job we could stop it immediately, CBS reports. By being very much tougher than they are right now. They're right now not tough. Trump said in an August 2016 interview with Bill O'Reilly. When I was in Chicago, I got to meet a couple of very top police. I said, how do you stop this, how do you stop this? If you were put in charge. Do you think you could stop this? He said, Mr. Trump, I'd be able to stop it in one week. And I believed him 100%. Almost as shocking as the overwhelming crime rate in the city is the fact that in 90% of these cases, where victims were either injured or killed, not a single suspect has been charged, Alan B. West reported. Perhaps this statistic came out at the end of Barack Obama's presidency, after allowing thugs to run free and excuse it is what disgruntled millennials do when suffering from poverty. What's interesting to note is that not a single one of these shootings this month involved a police officer, which is a big statistic.